Hey there, this is Akshay Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we were learning about positional parameters, right? And I hope you guys like that video and understood the concept also. In this video, we are going to learn the next type of parameters that are named parameters, right? So let me just copy this function and now create a new dart pad, right? And let me paste that content over here, right? So I'm going to explain it. If you are, if you haven't watched the positional parameters video, that's fine. I'm going to explain this function, right? And the name of the video is named parameters, right? So what are parameters? These are called parameters. The variables that my function needs, right? To compute something, to do anything, right? To perform the task, right? And these are passed like this. So I'm just calling this function. This is my function, user map, which returns a map and it takes name, age, gender, and user class of the student and then returns me a simple map, right? And I'm uh, like calling this function over here and these are my parameters. So these are named, uh, these are called positional parameters, right? Because in the circular bracket, I have defined string name. So name I needed, then age, then gender, then user class. So in positional parameters, our positions are fixed. That means first of all, I need to pass the name only. I cannot pass the age before my name. So first of all, name is going to get passed then my age, then my gender, and then my user class. I hope is it, I hope it is clear, right? Now, the problem with this is, as this list is going to increase, and when my user or when the programmer is going to read this code, he is not going to understand, okay, is this a name or what is this? Okay, this is age, okay, I did not know this. And he has to come to this function to know, okay, so the function needs a name, then age, then gender, then user class. From reading this line, the user or the programmer cannot understand, okay, the name is being passed and then age is being passed and gender and then user class, right? So this is a bit confusing for a long list of parameters, right? So named parameters solve this problem, right? So what I need to do is in this function, I just need to make one simple change. Just select this and surround it with curly brackets. That's it. Right, that's it. This is it, right? And now you can pass or you can define the name. So just cut this and hit control space or when you are in VS code, over here we, we can just write it like this. So first of all, I can pass my name. So name is going to be Akshit. Then I can pass my age, so age. So this is not key. This is not key, right? I am not uh, writing it like this. This is not key, right? This is just the parameter name. So age is going to be 22. And then you can write gender is going to be a string. And then you have user class. User class is 12, which is an integer, right? That's it. So it works, right? It works like this. Perfect, 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 right? And now you can change the positions. I can take this user class, I can cut it, and I can put it after my name, right? This is going to work. Remove the extra comma. This is going to work. So this was how name parameters work. And what is the error over here? You can come over here and you can see that it can have null. So you need to define some default value to it. So we are going to learn default parameters. You can define default values to it. Or what you can do is you can define this name as nullable, right? You can define this thing as nullable. That means I can also pass null for this name. I can not pass this name, that's fine. I'm not passing the name, that's fine. It is going to work. But if I am removing this question mark, then it's not correct, right? Because my name needs a default value. It needs a default value, right? So I either I can became, I either I can make it nullable that means I can pass null values to this name, then this error is gone or I can, and I can make all these values as nullable. That means even if I don't pass these values, that's fine. But hey, this is not correct, right? If I just remove it, that means I'm not passing the user data to this function. And then how is uh, this function going to return me this? So this is not at all correct. I need these values. I need these values, right? So I'm going to just remove these question marks let the error come and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make these values as required. These values are required values.
perfect. These values are required values now. So you can see the error over here. I did not pass the name. So you can see named parameter name is required. So I need to pass my name, right, comma. This is the correct function now, right? These are now named parameters. I have denoted names to my parameters now, right? I can run it and output is going to remain the same. Perfect, perfect. I hope you like this video. I hope you are clear with named parameters and positional parameters. Till the next video, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.